Hi, and welcome back to the Unity 3D third-person camera tutorial series. In the last video, we set up a new behavior where the camera has the character orbit around it, which was pretty different, and the character actually rotates as we run around the camera. We talked about translating uh, the coordinates from the control stick, so let me zoom out a second. We talked about translating the control stick coordinates, which you can see in blue in this image, into world space, which is the green vector, and then taking the cross product, which is the red line here in the uh, play view, using that to determine the direction that the character needs to turn. That's That was the last lesson, so in this lesson we're going to see how we can polish this script up, because it's kind of got a problem. If we decide to run towards a wall, and we run into it, we can kind of see around the world. It just looks sort of strange, and it's not exactly what, what we want because you can go to get into this weird situation where you're looking around walls. Instead, what we want to do is sort of uh, have the camera push up against the wall when we run into it. So we're going to implement that in this lesson. OK, let's get started. Let's go into our script file. We're only going to need to edit one file for this, and that's going to be the third person camera file. So what we want to do is we want to go and uh, it, before this lesson, I actually removed that offset variable that we used to have. And now I just calculate uh, the character offset just using using code, which is quite a bit better. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to make this new method called compensate for walls. And what this is going to do is it's going to move the camera back to collide with a wall. We're going to do use a raycast to do that. So we got this method compensate for walls. We've got a from and a to. We're going to draw a line from the object to the target and uh, you'll be able to see that in cyan. So let's have a look at that real fast. And let's add a call to this in our method right before smooth position. So let's see what this does. Okay, as you can see in the view right here, uh, we have in our scene view a cyan vector now going from the camera to the character. Uh, and that's the target where we're trying to aim at, which is 1.5 meters up from the top of the character. So if we run into a wall now, if we turn around and you can see that vector is colliding with the wall. And if you look into the code, there's a raycast right here where we, where we do a raycast uh, from the object to the target and store it in this wall hit object. So we just create a new ray, raycast hit object called wall hit, and we can draw a ray, uh, and we're drawing this red ray here, which you can see in this view. Let me zoom in on it. You can see this red ray where we hit the wall. So I'm just drawing, uh, using vector.left, just a red vector where it hits the wall. So you can see we got a correct value by taking this, this direction from this uh, line right here, where we go from the, from the target, or sorry, from the object to the target, we hit the wall, we draw a vector where we hit, and now let's move the camera to the x and z coordinates while maintaining the y value of the camera. So we're passing the camera's target in by reference. And what this means is we can actually change this value and we don't have to actually store into a new value up here. So if the wall hit happens, we just move it, uh, we just move the target to the wall point x and z and the uh, the y value of the target so we don't actually change the y value and that's why the camera is still here as you can see it's at the x and z values of this point but it maintained its y value so that's helpful there and that's basically how it works so that's that's all there is to that <laughs> it's not quite as robust as the one in in, uh, in the zelda camera just because you can get into situations like this uh, where you can actually see outside of the world still but it's definitely a step above what we had before. So that's it for this lesson, and uh, tune in next time.